हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर फीलिंग वेल प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल टू मैनी व्यूवर्स वाचिंग माय वीडियोस विदाउट सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर स्पोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू द इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर The economic reform is already extremely visible. Everybody can see it. Look at all the countries that are pouring in. They never did before. Kind of unusual, huh? Yeah, but if you were in their shoes and you had the ability to come into Iraq and invest you would too. Why didn't you investors pour in last year? Because you didn't see the evidence as you see it now. It's loud. It's clear. They're doing all the right things now putting themselves in place to strengthen Iraqi dinar. I do believe it will increase value before 2026 in small increments. As far as the exchange rate change in 2026 there's reason to believe that that exchange rate change is going to be a doozy of an exchange rate change and I have reasons to believe that. The new exchange rate is very close based on all the things they are introducing to you on a daily basis through the monetary reform education. But because the monetary reform education is not complete, the budget may not have the new exchange rate just yet. Look at the line items. The line items will tell you it requires a new rate. Now you believe once you see the budget you will see the new exchange rate. I agree, but do not look for it in the budget. The truth is, if the dinar is going to rise, it will be the result of Iraq building a diverse economy. They are working diligently to diversify away from oil, pass laws, and create an investment environment. With the success of Iraq's economy, they will then be in a position to allow it to rise gradually over time. An increase in the exchange rate is not a random act. but is the result of economic success so a lot of iraq's funds around the world were frozen they are now unfreezing them because they continue to meet all their obligations when that act of war was committed iraq's currency was devalued to take away their ability to make war they took something that was worth a lot and changed the value to worth not much Now they are meeting all the requirements so they can do the opposite. We are watching this all play out. Obviously it hasn't gone as fast as we wanted to. Would sure be nice to be across that finish line.